Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Ilse Samarripa and this is The World Space. I was presented with a challenge. I wanted to take my Meet PC from Canada to Mexico, but my objective was to take my built PC as carry-on and take it with me on top of the plane. I'm gonna tell you everything that went right and everything that went wrong in case you ever want to do something similar. My case is a Cooler Master Masterbox Lite 5 RGB ATX Myth Tower which is already bigger than the size they let you take as carry-on. So that was the first thing I I was ready to face. And I thought, how can I protect my PC as much as I can without really taking it apart? Because that involves more boxes and I didn't have space for that. First, I bought foam, non-conductive foam, tape, bubble wrap and plastic. I placed a little bit of non-conductive foam below my graphics card because I felt that was the part that was kind of hanging. First I cut my foam with a knife and I pasted the eight little cubes on the corners and then I put it on top of a chair which was actually very practical and I started to put bubble wrap around it and put a lot of plastic on top in a very intuitive manner just to make sure everything was protected and not very bulky because it was a big thing to take as a carry-on. If you ever want to do this try to keep the bubbles upside down so the bubbles are actually facing the item you're bubble wrapping. Then in Staples I also bought this $36 card which was a life saver because it made my computer actually look like luggage and it made me be able to move it around this year. And then I was ready. I knew I was gonna have issues with it, but I wanted to see how much I could get away with it and see if it was a viable option in the future because I travel a lot and I don't love laptops. So, okay, I sold my monitor, I took my mouse and I took my keyboard. So when I was doing my check-in, they didn't really see my computer in the counter just because I had bigger problems at that moment. I had to check in three bags that had so much extra weight uh, they would charge me around $350 for the three bags, plus extra weights around $100 each bag. So it would have been a total of like 550 Canadian dollars, which was insane. I mean, it was more expensive than my actual plane ticket. So the crew of the airline proposed that I upgraded from economy to first class for only 200 Canadian dollars instead. And that actually allowed me to have two 70 kilogram suitcases for free. That was a great option. And with my three bags of check luggage and my PC on my hands, I was ready to go. Stage two, security check. I am going through just fine. And then it was terrible because they made me take off the whole bubble wrap and they gave me scissors to cut it. They just actually wanted to check if the box didn't have like any weird powders or like drugs or something. It was really complicated, but the guy was really nice. He even gave me tape to put it back together. It obviously looked even bigger than before because the bubble wrap was not like tight. Stage three, going in the plane. So I had the huge fortune of being first class and turns out the, the, the cabinets are way bigger than the size I'm used to. So that was a huge advantage when I Walked in the plane, the crew were looking at me like, whispering like, oh my God, that's a huge bag. Like it's not gonna fit. But the manager stepped in and he was like, hey, 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 she is first class. Let her be, I'm gonna help her. And he took my bag and he put it up and I was like, my God, this is my lucky day. Like I was so scared and I didn't know what was gonna happen at all, but everything went smoothly up to that point. I was like, uh, score. And then I flied, everything was fun. If you're interested, I can make another video of how it was like to fly in quarantine because that was pretty insane. And then I arrived to stage four, going through the airport security in Mexico. They saw my computer and they were like, uh, what is that? My personal PC? How expensive is that? Uh, why do you ask me that? It's what I use for work. Listen, lady, the reason we let people travel with laptops is because there is only a certain amount of worth you can travel with. When the cost of your items goes above, then you have to pay 16% of that as taxes. 
Oh my god. But I think he saw my puppy eyes and was like, okay, just go. <laughs> so I was extremely lucky that day. Everything happened and everything arranged in a weird way, the way it should. Yeah, it was a crazy experience. So here are some things I learned. They told me you can actually go in and out of a country with computers, instruments or anything, even if it's more expensive than the limit, but you actually have to declare it in the border. So you have to say, this is equipment I use for work. That way they register in the system and they won't be bothering you with extra fees or taxes. Would I recommend doing what I did? <laughs> No, <laughs> it was super complicated, super stressful, but I will do something more intelligent next time. Now that I know all these things, I will use the same CPU, graphics card, RAM, SSD, cooler, power supply and everything, but I will get a mini ITX case and a mini motherboard and I will be in the lookout for cases that actually fit in a carry-on bag so I can travel with it in the future. From now on, I will always declare my pieces of equipment as something I use in order to work. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed this and I can make maybe a part two of this video if you like it, of the case I use and how I changed everything and if I travel again, I will let you know all the logistics and how it went with this new case. I made this video with the objective of simplifying my travel experience with my PC and putting myself as our guinea pig <laughs> so we can all learn from this and make everything easier for artists who move their equipment around the world. Please comment any doubts and any tips you have because I'm very interested in hearing what you think of this. Oh, and guess what? Trikingo is a site where you can download many different tools and tutorials, so make sure to check it out. I have a coupon where I get 20% discount in any purchase and they make animation easier with tools that save you a lot of time. So make sure to check it out. Thank you for watching and keep making art, you beautiful artist. <laughs>